welcome to today's video welcome back to my living room it's been a minute since we've been in this background but we are back today because i will be going through my january hits and misses admittedly i don't have too many misses i have a lot of hits for this month a lot of products that i'm super duper excited to talk to you about some things that i've discovered some things that i've been wearing non-stop so without further ado if you want to hear what i've been loving as well as some products that did not work for me then let's get right on into it first up is these oya anti-wrinkle patches this is a very cool, very innovative product. And I also feel like this is a product that you're gonna be seeing a lot of in 2021 and just moving forward in general. So let me tell you what it is. It's the anti-wrinkle patches. So it comes with patches for your forehead, under your eyes, your smile lines, your neck, and your chest. Let me take them out and show you. So here's one set of the patches, the forehead, eyes, and smile lines. And what is extremely innovative and cool about this product is that these are actually reusable. You can reuse them up to 15 times times which I think is just so cool and so amazing. So all you have to do is take it off of the plastic and apply it. And what I like about this is that you can use this with your skincare or without. So the way I use these is that I do my full skincare routine and I wait I want to say like 15 to 30 minutes for it to all soak into my skin because you have to make sure your skin is dry before you put these on or else it won't stick. So I wait until everything is like fully absorbed in and then I put these on. I wait, I don't know, maybe 15, 30 minutes. I usually watch some TV or whatever it is and then I take them off. And then to reuse them, all you do is just put a little bit of water on them or like mild soap. I just use water. You let them air dry and then you stick them right back on into the plastic and then I put them just back into the bag. So besides being reusable the main thing that i just love about these is that you really do see results i've seen really good results with my forehead lines and my neckline because tech neck is real usually my skincare routine i use retinol or different or whatever it is but lately i've been having issues with my perioral dermatitis and the retinol does not help that it literally makes it flare like crazy so once i ditched the retinol the first thing that i noticed about my skin was the lines on my forehead they were just being much more noticeable so after using these i want to say about three or four times i use them two to three times a week i was like okay i'm seeing results like i just take them off and i can see the difference and also with my neck i've seen results so yeah i think these these are really innovative they're really cool and you definitely see results next up is another skincare makeup hybrid item that was a miss for me and this was a sad miss for me because i actually thought it was going to be a hit but it turned out to be a mess. So this is the Miss Ha Perfect Cover BB Cream, and I have it in the shade 27. It has SPF 42. So this is basically a high coverage BB cream that also contains sunscreen. So I was like, oh, this is going to be a perfect product just for work, something that I can throw on before I go on Zoom meetings or if I'm running errands or whatever it is. And at first it was that. It was an amazing amount of coverage. I would say like a true medium coverage. It just went on the skin really, really nicely. It gave your skin, I don't want to say a dewy finish but just a really nice natural like your skin but better finish and i was loving this but i did notice that i had fragrance but sometimes fragrance irritates my perioral dermatitis and sometimes it doesn't it kind of just depends so i was like let me try this out and the first few times i wore it i wasn't wearing it that long it was to go run some errands or something like that or just to put it on for one meeting at the end of the day and then i would take a shower and it wasn't really irritating my skin and i was like oh wow i really really like this and then i started putting it on like from the morning having meetings all day and i want to say about four to five hours within wearing this my skin was so itchy irritated perioral dermatitis totally flared up above my lip that's where i usually get mine and i wasn't sure if it was this was it something else was it something that i ate because sometimes food also can trigger it and i tried this i want to say two more times and i was like no this is definitely it but that being said if you don't have any type of those skin issues like it didn't irritate any of my acne it just irritated the perioral i would still give this a try i mean the shade range is completely terrible i think there was like four shades but it's only 10 bucks on amazon and and it is a good product. It just didn't work for me and my reactive skin. Next up, I have a body product that I've been loving. This is like a lazy girl's dream. This is the Flamingo Light Hydrating Spray. It has squalene for hydration, white willow bark for exfoliation, and apple extract for an instant glow. And basically all it is is like a spray moisturizer. I discovered this on Instagram, my good friend Danielle. Her Instagram page is Miami Beauty Advice. She put me onto this and I am obsessed. First, let's talk about the smell. The smell I really, really like. It's kind of like a fresh 
eucalyptus, not eucalyptus, it's kind of like a fresh leafy smell, well, not leafy, I don't want to say floral because it's not floral, but it's sort of like a fresh unisex type of floral scent, I guess, and I really like it, and it's really just nice and thin, it just sprays on the body so easily, just like that, and it takes five seconds, literally five seconds to go into your skin. I love body products and fragrance and body lotions, but I will admit that I am definitely a little lazy. When I come out of the shower, especially a long shower where I washed my hair, shaved my whole body, like when I get out of the shower, especially at night, I'm like exhausted. I'm like, oh, am I going to stand here and like moisturize my entire body after I just did like a full skincare routine. No, and a lot of the times I just kind of skip the body lotion because I'm super lazy, but that's where this comes into place. This is so quick. You literally spray it on your body. You gotta like swipe it once to get it in there. You probably don't even need to rub it in, no exaggeration, because that's how thin it is. It absorbs right in. It makes your body feel super duper nice. And the best part of this, it's nine or 10 bucks from Target, so it's really easily accessible, and I've just been loving it. Another shower product that I've been loving specifically hair products is this Fanola no yellow care incredible foam conditioner so this is totally like a TikTok made me buy a product. Honestly, TikTok has been making me buy so many products. And I am gonna do another video eventually of like all the products TikTok made me buy and what I think about them if they're worth it. Anyways, this is definitely worth it. This is a huge hit. So obviously you can see that I dye my hair, I bleach my hair, and because my natural hair is so dark and it naturally has like those reddish orangey undertones, I have a lot of issues with my hair like oxidizing and just looking really yellow and really orange, blah, blah, blah. So I've been using purple shampoo for like the last two years. And honestly, I have not been able to find a really great purple shampoo that does not dry out my hair. So anyways, I saw this on TikTok. I didn't even know it was a conditioner. I just bought it on Amazon. I was like, let me try it. It has good reviews and it looked really good in the TikTok video. And let me tell you, this works so well. You just shake it up and it's a foam. I'm not gonna, actually, I'll show you guys. Shake it up and it's a foam like that. And by the way, like how satisfying is it to just watch that? It smells so good. Okay, let me rub this off before I get it all over myself. All right, I just went and washed my hands. But anyways, this works so well at just taking all of those brassy yellow orange tones out of your hair. You put it on as a normal conditioner. You leave it in, I believe for like three to five minutes and then you wash it out. So as a purple conditioner, it works really, really well. I just did it like a few nights ago. And like I said, my hair gets like super orange or yellow, like super duper quick. So this has been great. Now as a conditioner, listen, is it, you know, it doesn't make my hair as soft as like my Olaplex or my other conditioners that I love. No, but does it soften your hair and make your hair like more shiny and stuff? Just like any regular conditioner? Yes. So I feel like this is fine. Definitely if you have like thinner hair, but if you have like more thick hair like me, sometimes I do this and then I'll go in with like a tiny bit of my Olaplex conditioner just because I do need like a little bit more of like that moisture in my hair. It's been fine when I've been doing that. My hair hasn't been like heavy or anything like that because this is a very lightweight conditioner. But yeah, if you are blonde or if you bleach your hair or anything like that, definitely check this out. I have tried so many purple shampoos, so many just like purple products, leave-ins in general, and this has definitely given me the best results. All right, let's move on to some makeup products I have. And unfortunately, I have to start this off with a very sad miss, and that would be the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. So I did do an entire dedicated video to this, and there's just a lot of things that I just don't like about it. It just does not work for me. So the main thing is that as a powder foundation, which it was released as, it was not released as a setting powder, it was released as a powder foundation, and as a powder foundation, this has literally no coverage. Like, I'm not even kidding. I mean, it has a very light, light, light amount of coverage, and this was marketed as a light to full coverage. So if you're gonna make that claim that it can go from light to full coverage, you better believe that I'm gonna test if it'll go from light to full coverage. Also it claims to give your face a really nice soft matte finish, which it did, but it definitely did not keep my face matte. So I use this both as a powder foundation and as a setting powder. As a setting powder, I didn't really love it either because it just didn't keep my T-zone matte. I just feel like my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder, which is a fraction of the price, keeps my T-zone shine free all day. Whereas this only held up for three or four hours before I had to touch it up and add more or blot. 
So overall, this did not work for me. I don't think it's worth the money. I absolutely love the packaging and it just feels chic and it looks chic, but ultimately I will be returning this. Now let's move on to all the makeup hits that I had, starting with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrators. Since I got this and since I used it on camera, no exaggeration, this has been my go-to foundation or tinted moisturizer routine literally every day for work. All I do is pump out a little bit of this. I kind of mix the colors. I have the colors medium, tan, and light medium. I kind of mix them. Light medium is a little bit too light. Medium tan is a little bit too dark. So I mix them up. I go in with my sponge to blend everything out. And then I'll go in with my L'Oreal or my Makeup Forever powder foundation and just powder it to set it down. And also those powders do give me a little bit more extra coverage. These I would definitely say are like a solid medium coverage, but the thing with like these and just tinted moisturizers in general is that they're not formulated like foundations. It's, you can't really build them up that much more. You can build them up a little bit, but not that much more where I would be getting full coverage in the areas I need. So when I do go on with that powder foundation, besides setting it, it does give me like that full coverage that I need. And then I'll just do like my brows, mascara, and a little bit of thing on my lips. And then I'm good for the whole day at work. It literally lasts all day. It feels so good on the skin. It doesn't irritate my acne does not irritate my perioral dermatitis, does not have fragrance, $5.99. I'm trying to think of like all the good things. The only bad thing about this, which is a major negative to this, is the shade range, terrible. I think there's like seven shades and there's like not even one deep shade. It's quite sad, but yeah, I definitely want to mention these because I've been literally using them every single day. Another hit for me, literally been wearing every single day, wearing it today is also the Wet n Wild Megalass Incognito All Day Full Coverage concealer i just love this stuff it's really nice and thin it does not crease doesn't smudge doesn't go anywhere sets down beautifully as far as the coverage i would say this is medium to full it's not full coverage like tarte shape tape or like the hourglass vanish but this can definitely be built up to full coverage it works great as an eyeshadow primer as well i have no bad things to say about this 10 out of 10. another makeup hit which I was like, I don't know if I want to talk about this in this video because I only tried it like last week, but since I've tried it in that video, I will say that I have been wearing this every single day. I'm wearing it today and I don't want to say that this is going to replace, let me tell you what it is, okay. This is the Essence 24 Ever Defined Volume Mascara and I just tried this out in a video and no exaggeration. I've been using it every single day. I'm wearing it on my eyes today and I don't, I'm not ready to go as far and say that this will replace my Essence Lush Princess Sculpted Volume. Like I'm not emotionally ready for that, but it's getting there. It's close to there. What's interesting to me about this is that I don't usually like mascara wands that are like so big. This mascara wand is literally like massive. I guess you can't really tell because I'm not really comparing it to another wand, but it's pretty big. And usually when there's these big wands, they have trouble with like getting to every lash because they are so big and like grabbing at every lash. But this literally gives me like lash extension vibes, like false lashes. Like today I really, put it on and layered it and I was like, let me see how much this can really give me. And by the end of it, I was like, damn, I, it literally looks like I'm wearing lash extensions. I am so loving this. Again, I'm not like ready to say that it will replace my other Lash Princess, but it's getting there. I mean, within the next few weeks, it may. Next up, I wanna talk about some clothing. They are three sweaters that I've been loving, wearing nonstop, super comfortable, super oversized, and all from Airy. So the first one we have, which I feel like everyone has a sweater, but I still wanted to mention it, is the Good Vibes sweater. So it's just like a normal sweater material, and then it has this really high slit. So it's nice and oversized and long, but then has a slit, and I absolutely love it. It's just like a normal fleece-lined crew neck. And what I will say before I like talk more about these is that do not buy them full price. I feel like Aerie permanently has a sale. I don't think that the prices that they put on the price tags are ever the actual price. But anyways, this is the Good Vibe sweater and 
literally been wearing it nonstop. And then another sweater that I spoke about in a past video, I don't remember what video I spoke about it, but I spoke about this in a past video is their oversized waffle knit. So it just has, if you can see this like waffle material, this is also super oversized, great with leggings. It has a little slit here. I don't know if you can see that. It has a little slit here, so it works well with leggings. Oh, let me tell you what sizes. So the waffle one, I wear a size small. It's They're all very oversized, and I actually have this in black and an extra small because I couldn't, the smalls were sold out, so I got that in an extra small, and they fit pretty much the same. I am 5'3", so it also depends, obviously, how tall you are, how long they are going to be. On me, they're all long, longer than my butt, so I can easily wear them with leggings without, you know, you seeing my crotch or anything. So this I wear in a size small, and then this, it depends. Some of this one I have in a small, but sometimes I wear it in a medium as well. I just noticed that sometimes different colors, or I, I guess that has to do with like the dye of the fabrics. It kind of fits differently, but this one, I definitely say it's small. And I want to say normally in sweaters, I'm a medium. So I would say size one down. And then the last one I have, which is also very oversized, this is basically the same body shape as the waffle, is the oversized chenille i don't i don't know how to pronounce this word but obviously i'm gonna have them all in down below is the oversized chenille it's also very nice this one is very warm like the other ones are warm but this one is definitely heavier and warmer so it has this really nice fabric this color i believe is like the mocha or the brown like i said i'll link it down below and then this i am also wearing a size small but this i probably I would say this one is more true to size just because like I could have gotten this in a medium. I just didn't because I knew the other ones were oversized. The waffle one is definitely more stretchy. So even if it like shrinks in the wash or something, which it hasn't, I can kind of like stretch it out a little bit. Whereas this, the fabric is different. The fabric is a little bit more rigid and it's a bit thicker. So I would say this is the most true to size out of the three. And then for the other two, definitely go one size down. You will not regret it. They're just great if you work from home or if you wanna go do errands or something like that. And in this day and age of the Corona age that we are in, I love like dressing up and wearing jeans and honestly getting dressed up for these videos. But besides that, I really have nothing to get dressed up for. And these sweaters are super cute. They're super flattering and they're just nice and comfy. Last but not least, I have another hit to talk about. We're gonna end this with a bang. It is a perfume and it is a very pricey, bougie perfume. This is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Et de Parfum. Wow, that was like a pretty good attempt at French. Yes, so this is the Lost Cherry Perfume. I feel like this has kind of been blowing up everywhere. And I did not know before I tried this that I would like a cherry scent. So let me back this up a little bit and I'll kind of tell you why I purchased this. So I had seen this somewhere or I had just seen that this was getting a lot of hype, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and I just kept seeing that it like was in and out of stock and other beauty YouTubers or other beauty influencers that I follow were like, quick, it's back in stock. You like, you gotta get it. And I didn't really know anything about this. I also think that, I don't think this is new because I looked this up on, how do I say this, Fragranatica? It's that website that basically tells you like all the notes and the fragrance and a little bit of the history and the trend, blah, blah, blah. And I'm pretty sure on that website, it said that this was released in like 2018 or 2019. So it's not a brand new perfume. I'm not really sure what kind of hyped it up now or what kind of led to that. But anyway, so I saw that this was basically sold out everywhere. And one day I decided to go into my Sephora as I usually do. And I saw the perfume. It was looking right at me. And I was like, you know, let me just smell this. It's hyped up everywhere. It's totally sold out. Like I'm, I'm here right now. They have the bottle. If I do like it, I can get it. Like, let me just smell it. And damn. I was like captive. You don't understand. Like I smell this and usually I'm like, oh, I love this. I don't like this. It's something like I smell this and I was captivated. Like something came over my body and I was like, holy crap. This is just, it's, it's intoxicating. Like it's different. It's decadent. It's sexy. It's sultry. Like I was just completely captivated by this perfume and it's not, I've never had that feeling ever when I've tried any perfumes, it was like crazy. Like some, literally something came over me. I feel like I'm being very dramatic. But anyways, I was like, okay, I need this. I knew that they sold like the travel size. I was like, oh, do you have the travel? And they didn't, which is $75. 
This was $205. So I tried it, I loved it, and then I was like, you know what, let me walk around a little bit. And to be honest, I was so captivated by this that I could not leave the store without it. That being said, it was $205. I happened to have a store credit with like $196 on it. I think after I paid the difference, whatever it was, definitely worth every penny. And I will say that I would, I would have still paid like the full price if I didn't have the store credit. I mean, it was store credit, it wasn't a gift card. So I technically did pay the full price. Obviously it just hurt a little bit less because I did use the store credit. Also, I should probably tell you what this smells like. I'll put up the notes on the screen, but basically to me what this smells like, it smells like a sexy, seductive cherry. And I'm laughing as I say that because I actually, when I got this, I was telling my friend like, oh my God, you need to go to Sephora. You need to find it in store and get it. And she was like, I don't think I really like cherry scents. And I was like, I didn't know I liked cherry either, but it's not like a sickly sweet cherry. And it's not, actually the note is not a, it's not a cherry note, it's a cherry liqueur. So it literally smells like a cherry alcoholic drink. And I feel like by saying that, it doesn't really sound that good, but oh my God, I just, it's captivating. It just smells like, it's one of those things you gotta smell it for yourself, but it smells like a sweet, seductive, deep sultry cherry it's definitely a nighttime scent i think i would say this is an all year round scent although i don't really see myself wearing this even at night in like the dead of summer it's definitely more of like a fall winter night sexy date night type of scent i feel like i've been talking about this already for the last 10 minutes and rambling but yeah this has really changed my life i'm also dying to get the candle but it's 75 dollars so Probably not gonna spend $75 on a candle, but this is just incredible. Just smell this and report back to me and let me know what you think. All right, and that is it for my January 2021 hits and misses. If you like this video, you know what to do. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you've been trying in January and what you've been loving or not loving. And with that being said, I will see you in my next video. Bye.